how do you explain his access to the President of the United States and the Chief of Staff, frankly, in the last 24 hours, describing as a man of personal integrity? I can't explain it. It's, uh, it's long past due that he left. I understand he's departed. Um, <clears throat> if you just look at it from the perspective of one thing, the FBI didn't think he should get a security clearance, a permanent security clearance. They had to know that. No, and, oh, sure they knew that. They were worried. And, and, and they still did. Look, I, I, the culture's changing, thank God, but not fast enough. And the idea that this would happen in the Oval Office. Now, I, I don't know. I heard in the way I was briefed in the way in that when the president found out about it, he said go. So if that's the case, if the president never knew about it, good for the president for saying How that. How could the but president it, not know that one of his closest advisors did not have a top security clearance. What does that say about the president and this White House? Oh, Andrea. <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm having an enormous difficulty uh, um, understanding uh, how this White House functions. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.